Hi everybody and welcome to day, day two of Love Summer Art, hashtag Love Summer Art. This is my project for today. I've been making some colourful tags. Uh, they're very simple to do. Um, I'm just going to do a quick run through of what I did on these. They're watercolour paper with paints and they'd be nice for um, obviously gift tags or in your journals or happy mail. So this is one that I've got left from the piece of paper that I was using for these. And to get this effect on the background, all I have done is taken a piece of watercolour paper. I soaked it. Uh, this one's just about dry, but just soak it with some water. And then just dab some paint here and there. That's, that's all I was really doing. It was just doing something like this. Um, and as it dries, the paint spreads out. As long as your paper's wet enough, you could always go back and do that. And then see that paint will actually spread out and give you this pattern. And you can just keep going until you've got whatever you want. And see, that is how that came about. Just doing that and then make sure you just leave it to dry and as it dries the paper is still wet the paint will spread and you'll end up with this nice looking pattern so that is how to do that so anyway this is the one that i have left um i've cut this one as a rectangular it's two and a half by five uh, the same as this one. Um, I've rounded the corners on this one at the top. This one is smaller. This is a two inch by five. And the reason I did that was because I was using this scalloped top, which is a punch by stamping up. And the gap here is two inch. So that one was thinner. So that's how that one was achieved. And then I just added some fibers um, to finish it off. And as you can see, it's embossed. You don't need to emboss if you don't want to. Um, and this one is also embossed, but I used Cosmic Shimmer embossing powder on this one. The first one had ink and then I used uh, a clear gloss embossing powder to re-stamp it and then heat set. So anyway, this one. Got my basic card. I've cut my hole the hole out at the top there and the only thing I've done so far is I've put some script on it just to give the background a little bit more interest and I used this light blue um, ink here by stamping up this is um, marina mist so I've used that one and I'm going to use that again to just go around the edges when I've finished and I've got this stamp which is a Sizzix stamp, I don't know what it's called uh, and this one as well that I got in a happy mail I think this might be close close to your heart I think that's what that one is but anyway I got that one in a gift so I don't know what it is so for this one I thought I'd go with the way I did the first one which was to stamp just in an ink and show you how that looks Let's see, you don't need to have the embossing powders but I find the dark colour on this background really pops out so that's why I'm going for um, this one it's like a navy although it probably will look black so I'm just going to ink up my stamp just make sure I've got a good covering there yeah and then I'm going to put something harder underneath this so I get a better surface I'm just going to try and center it somewhere near the bottom about there maybe And give a good press down and there we go got a stamp it's not very good contact I think I've still got some of the um, embossing stuff on from the last one that I did but that shall do for now just going to clean it off a little bit and then I'm going to do the same for the butterfly 
which is f <laughs> typical, isn't it? It's fluke. <laughs> it's on there. I don't want you on there. Come over there. No, it's not going to stick. Right, okay. So, well, it's got plenty of ink on it. Let's um, put it down and hope for the best. Yeah, not bad. So that is how that would look um, if you just did it with the inks. Uh, still a nice effect. See, I could have had a better stamping contact there, but I think I've still got some of the embossing um, stamp pad stuff on from the last one that I did. So let's see if we can get this to stick back on again. Right, yes, I think that's it there. Mm. Oh dear. <laughs> the joys of being a crafter, huh? Right, I'm just going to give this a quick blast. Just make sure that ink is dry. Try and get some of this off my hands. My nail varnish remover actually works quite well and I'm just making more of a mess. Look at this. Oh, messy girl. Right, so now I'm just going to take my embossing powder, my embossing um, pad, and I'm going to do the same thing again, just inking up the stamp here. And then I'm going to try and just get it back over the top. There. I'm just going to press it down, make sure I've got good contact there. probably won't be able to see it but there should be quite a good impression there hopefully all right let's do the same with this one and hopefully it'll stick this time and just get the little butterfly and do the same again just line it up Yeah, you're not going to be able to tell, but right, we shall see how that does. And then, as I said, for the first one, I used this one, which is a Wow Clear Gloss Regular. So this is the embossing powder I'm going to use this time. So I shall get a sheet of paper. Put that on there. And I'm just going to put my powder over it. And then just get rid of this, what I can, in here. And I'm going to just give this a bit of a tap on the back. Just remove any excess here. That's looking okay. And waste your powder. Dear, dear, dear. Yeah, I think it's going to have to be soap and water and nail varnish remover. Right, anyway, so that's my powder on. So now I'm going to... Eat. Sorry about the noise. I'm going to move it further up so you can see it happening. image so now it's all shiny and pretty lovely so I'm just going to round off the corners now if I can find my corner punch which has vanished oh there it is right in front of me and I couldn't see it so I'm just going to oopsie round off the corners
go. Let's move this. And then I'm going to take that same ink that I had earlier. And I'm just going to ink around. Just to finish it off a little bit. Especially where you've cut it or added it to um, a background cardstock just takes that whiteness away from the edge. Just bring it in a little bit here. now so then you would just add a ribbon or some fibers and you're good to go that is our little tag so there we are the three of them all together so i hope you enjoyed seeing that thanks for watching bye